Hey guys, Sudafire here. Welcome to a video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a custom model of like a tool or block or something into Minimator so that you can animate custom models. So, uh, before we get into anything, please be sure to like the video and if you guys subscribe and comment down below if you did subscribe, you'll get a shout out in the next episode. So be sure to do that. So uh, yeah, let's get right on into it. So we got, let's open our model creator. A link to this will be in the description. So here we go. We got our model creator here. Um, this is super simple to use. All you have to do is like you add a block and then you can like mess around with the block and make it move and stuff. So you can position the block however you want and uh, you can just make a model out of that. You can add another block, stuff like that. So I'm going to be making my model into a torch, like a new type of uh, fancy looking torch. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back once I'm all done with the model and then I'll show you guys what the next step is. So you can also like adjust the size and stuff. And you can also adjust the rotation if you really want to, like this, so you can see the thing is getting rotated, and rescale, stuff like that, and you can make on the y-axis, yeah, so you can rotate it however you want and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to make the model, and then we're going to get into texturing the model, so um, yeah, I'll be back once this is all done. Okay guys, so once you have your model all created, next thing you're going to want to do is make the textures, so, well, I said that really weirdly, you want to make the textures next, so... We're going to put that down for now because we don't have the textures yet. And I use a tool called paint.net. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's really, I think it's easy to use, but then again, I've been using it for like three years. So I think I know my way around pretty well. And so we're gonna wanna create a new uh, photo that's 16 by 16 pixels wide. And we're just gonna wanna make the texture kinda what the uh, parts of our thing's gonna look like. So if I'm making a torch, I'm gonna make a texture for the stick part of it and the fiery part of it. So. I'm going to do the stick first, um, so I want a nice wooden texture, so I might take wood from the internet, or like spruce wood or something. So I'm actually going to come down here and search spruce uh, planks. Let's open that file location. Uh, that looks good, and we can always kind of edit it a little bit. So we can paste it onto here, and we got an exact spruce plank there. And so now I'm going to I'm gonna make it a little darker, um, maybe like that, maybe kind of saturate it. Yeah, that looks okay. So that's gonna be my stick texture because it's gonna kind of take a, like my stick since it's like two by two is probably gonna take like that texture right there and copy that and I like that so we're gonna file save as to the desktop into our torch model right there we're gonna call this stick texture and now we're gonna want to make the fire texture so I'm actually gonna take blaze powder uh, open file location copy and paste. And so, I like how this looks for the fire. We're going to copy this, control C, control V, and put that there, because that's going to be the main area where it's going to steal our texture. But just in case, I'm going to put a few copies of it all around. Just like so. Okay, so I got kind of our fire texture. So we're gonna go file, save as desktop, torch model, and we're gonna call this uh, fiery texture. Just so we know what we're looking at. Okay, so now we got that all made. We can close out of that, close out of this. And if we open this, we will see our two textures there. So make sure they're PNGs, by the way. And now let's go back into model creator. And um, now we're gonna start modeling it. So I'm gonna start the cube right here so this is a stick texture so we're going to go to faces and then hit select and then this texture manager is going to pop up we're going to hit new texture and we're going to select a texture from the torch model so stick texture there we go we're going to hit click it and hit apply now i'm going to hit copy just so i can start pasting it everywhere and so i'll be right back once we're um all done with this but yeah so you can also change like where it looks, so if you look over here on West, you can change the UV of it, so it'll take like different aspects of it, but I don't really want that, so we're just gonna put that back to normal. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll be right back once this whole stick is textured. Okay guys, so once you have the uh, model actually created, now what you're gonna do, and it's all textured and stuff, we're going to file, and then hit export JSON, and then we're going to name it, uh, we're actually gonna make this go into the torch model itself, and then we're going to hit select, and name it, I'm going to name it Torch uh, Model. There we go. It's now hit export and it will say model exported successfully. You'll see it closing, close out of that. 
can look in here and it should be a torch model.json or whatever you named it. So now we're going to open up Minimator. Pretty simple, right? And then we're going to wait for it to load up. Then you're gonna just kind of load up your animation or create one or whatever you're doing. And then hit the um, create model from an external file. And then, uh, not now. And then you go to model and you hit browse, right? Then we're gonna come over here, go to desktop and hit the your model that you select right here. So I got a torch and I hit create. And then you have the torch in the game. If you wanna make it bigger, it's really simple. You can just scale it. And so look at that. Now we have our model inside of Minimator. So we can animate it however we want. Um, it only has one part to it, but you can lock other parts onto it. So if you want to like make the fire a different than the torch, then you create two models and and um, the model creator. You do one for the little torch fireball and one for the stick. Just to, it's just an example, and then you can kind of lock this to the parent stick, and then it will act as the torch where you can adjust the fireball. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this episode of um, tutorials. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below, and uh, let me know if you guys found this helpful and um in the comment section if you guys want uh let me know what you're going to be using this for uh it might be pretty interesting to see how you guys use this so thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like uh please consider subscribing and um sharing would also be really awesome uh thanks for watching peace out